Hello, and now we're moved to the Queen's Room of Queen Victoria, and I'm joined by a gentleman who I work very closely with in Southampton, and he is the Director of Entertainment for Cunard Line. Hi, Martin. Hello, Alastair. It's, it's uh, a different environment for us here, isn't it, rather than the office? Yes, it's always <laughs> nice to come and visit the ships and see uh, how things are progressing on board. And you must be very excited about Queen Elizabeth because you're project managing the whole entertainment programme on there. Yes, my role for Queen Elizabeth, really, I oversee everything from concept to delivery. Uh, we've been working now about 18 months on the entertainment product for Queen Elizabeth, and uh, with not many weeks to go, we're at an exciting stage in the development. Now, of course, we're very excited about our games deck, a lot of new concepts there, like bowls and so on. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, with the, with the games deck, we have our short map bowls, which our guests will be able to, to play, and croquet, which I think you know a little bit about. I've had a dabble with a mallet here and there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, paddle tennis, which we have on, uh, on our other ships, so uh, we'll be running competitions and games for our guests to really get involved in those new, uh, those new activities. Now people hear about bowls and they think, hang on a second, bowls on board a ship? Moving ship, is it, how are we going to get over that one? Oh no, we're providing a completely level surface for our uh, for our guests to play on, both on croquet and on the uh, on the bowling green, and it will be, remain completely flat until the ship turns a corner. <laughs> so we'll try our best to work it. It could be to our advantage, of course. Absolutely, or the player's <laughs> advantage. Exactly. When you're looking at the concepts of shows, how do you actually go about designing, and, and how, what's the process involved with that? we get to the point where we actually have to really build a little model of the theatre and a right. model of the set and scenery. So this is literally a scale model of what we're going to have. So I presume one of the challenges is that unlike a West End show, which there's just the one show, we've got lots of different shows to consider. Yep, every piece is planned that it has a home both on stage and off stage. Um, a lot of the scenery is flown and that goes out the way and is stored in the fly loft. Some of it goes down into the orchestra pit and other pieces uh, go off into the wings and into your scenery stores. I mean, these are amazing sets, as you said, very at home in London's West End, but of course a lot of extra challenges on board Queen Elizabeth. What we'll be trying to do during one of your voyages is to have a Neil Simon triple bill in the afternoon and then while your guests go to dinner, transform the theatre for an evening production of Poetry on the Underground. Now one of the things I know our guests love on Cunard ships is to see so many of their familiar faces and we're going to have quite a few on Queen Elizabeth. In addition to yourself Alistair, um, Thomas Quinonis will be on board. Thomas has been with us many many years and guests will remember him from uh, the QE2 and uh, Laura Leach will be with us on Queen Elizabeth and many other very familiar faces uh, that our guests will recognise. And actually what I'm really looking forward to is the pay rise that I understand I'm going to receive when I get there. Uh, can, we, can we cut? <laughs> now? Oh, cut. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here for another We Are Cunard video blog. I'm excited to announce that actually I'll be going back to Queen Elizabeth at the end of the month so we'll show you the very latest pictures of our new Queen. Bye for now.